locations, computers, material handling, which has to do with the movement of stores, tracking and retrieval of material. I put on a trade show that had 33,000 people there from 53 countries. I was doing business in 125 countries. Everywhere there's a U.S. consulate, I had a newsletter that went out to them. So I've done business on a global network and community. This was before the internet. Um, been a business owner, uh, bought a company that had two guys that repair typewriters. I built that into eight employees, 70 subcontractors, a multi-million dollar business in eight states. Anybody here heard of Wells Fargo? Okay, my company did the maintenance on the machines. When you go into the branch, you'll see the machines that count the money. My company did the maintenance of those, from those machines. Money counters, typewriters, fax machines, coin counters, check writers. We come in and then we extend to the life that equipment. So we were in eight states on the, on the uh, East Coast and started that business with no money. But I took the money that I saved when I was working at the trade show, and I was banking 20% of what I was making, and then I bought a house, and the house almost tripled in value. I took the interest, uh, the equity from the house, and they gave me a quarter of a million dollars. I used that money to finance my business so I didn't have to take out any loans. Again, I didn't want people controlling it. So it's what you do with what you have, but you gotta know where you're gonna go. If you don't know that, you'll make decisions, okay? Uh, now, 